Hi guys, welcome back to Father and Son Investing. This is a follow-up for the video that I made yesterday. Yesterday we talked about a sweep account. I told you about how my sweep account at Vanguard is earning 4.5%, rivaling what a high-yield savings account or a CD can do right now. I also told you that today I would talk about the other brokerage companies that are essentially ripping you off when it comes to your settlement fund or your sweep account in your brokerage firm. So let's get to it. There's an interesting article that appeared in the Wall Street Journal back in February of this year talking about some investors are missing out on higher yields and don't know it. They go on to talk about cash sweep accounts at brokerage firms that automatically put uninvested client assets into very low yielding bank deposit programs. Now, in case you're not familiar with what a sweep account is, I'll just quickly cover that. Anytime that you uh, trade at a brokerage, where you maybe you sell one of your securities or a dividend comes in from one of your securities or you put money from your regular bank account into your brokerage account so that you can buy more stock that's going to go into your sweep account or your settlement fund now at vanguard that pays a very high yielding 4.5 percent but at other brokerages that is not necessarily the case in fact they specifically design it to put it into very low yielding accounts so that they can then take your money and invest it at a very higher yield and that is where they make a lot of money. We'll find out just how much money here in a little bit. Let's just cover some of these institutions then who are ripping people off. The Wall Street Journal talks about Morgan Stanley. Their cash sweep program pays 0.01% annually. 0.01%. Remember, I'm getting 4.5% from Vanguard. That is an incredibly low amount for them to be paying people for the cash that they have uninvested sitting in these accounts. Who else is doing this? Well, Merrill, uh, Bank of America, 0.01%. JP Morgan Chase, 0.01% is what your money is earning if it's just sitting in cash there. Oh, at Schwab, they will give you a little bit better. It's going for 0.5% for all cash sweep accounts. You can actually go to Schwab's website and verify this. Here it is, uninvested cash in your Schwab brokerage accounts and retirement accounts. 0.5% APY is what they're paying. Remember, Vanguard, 4.5%. Now... Brokerage firms, at least at Schwab, where I have some of the slides that I'll show you here in just a second, they count on this. They count on investors leaving their cash in these low yielding accounts, earning 0.5% so that they can go ahead and reinvest it and make a lot of money. Just how much money are they making? This from the Wall Street Journal article at Schwab, the 482 billion in sweep assets as of last September represented only 7.3% of customers' assets. However, they generated an estimated 25 to 30% of Schwab's revenue. They are making a lot of money off of this small amount of assets. Now I mentioned that Schwab is counting on this. This is a slide deck from their winter business update in January of this year. And I just wanna highlight a few slides for you. I went ahead and listened to part of this three hour meeting and near the end of the meeting, one of the presenters started talking about cash balances in their accounts. And they talked about how, as interest rates rise, the cash balances tend to decrease. Now, he talked about high cash balances. These are people with millions of dollars. And he showed how that cash balance tends to come down towards an equilibrium, uh, essentially saying people have burnout. You know, when, that, when those rates initially start rising, they start moving cash into higher yielding things like money market funds. But at some point, they quit doing it. But interestingly enough, he talked about people who don't have millions of dollars in there and what happens with their cash as interest rates rise. And it's this green line here, and you see that it actually goes up, meaning as interest rates are rising, people who are keeping their money in these brokerage accounts are actually putting more cash in there and not less, meaning their cash is earning much less than it could be as it accumulates in there. They actually track this pretty well. You can see here another slide that they presented showing uh, essentially all of these tend to come towards a mean. They started out with higher cash levels here, but they come down here and they concentrate towards this mean, which leaves Schwab plenty of money still to invest their cash into higher yielding accounts. Now they actually have a name for this behavior. They call it sorting, client sorting. And what is sorting? It's essentially clients sorting through 
their funds looking for higher yielding accounts. So client sorting activity for existing accounts has thus far progressed in line with expectations, meaning yes, people have been sorting their money out, but they're still leaving plenty of it there for them. They come to a conclusion, they say at some point in 2023, we expect sorting to abate and balance sheet cash to resume growing in proportion with client assets. They're counting on us not moving money to a higher yielding account at Schwab. Now, there's a name for the way that they do this, where they take your money and reinvest it, and that's going to be called the net interest margin. That's the difference between what they pay you and what they're earning. And we'll see that during these economic cycles where interest rates are up, we'll look back here at fourth quarter of 06, and we see that their net interest margin was up. And if you look at the fourth quarter here in 2022, we'll see again that their net interest margin is going up. So even with people sorting, they are still making more money uh, by reinvesting your cash that you're leaving at 0.45%. And just to drive home the point here, they keep track of this stuff. One of the appendix slides from their meeting, sorting burns out through the cycle, sorting decelerates or reverses as you move past peak rates and can be offset by organic cash increases. So once those peak rates come and kind of go back down, people quit sorting all their cash, looking for higher yields, and then they still have inflows of cash Again, this is something that brokerage firms depend on for making a lot of money, and they're making that money off of you. Let me just mention at least two firms that don't do this to you. I already mentioned Vanguard, which I'm a fan of, and use them for my brokerage account. Fidelity, Fidelity is another one. However, Fidelity does require you to jump through a little bit of a hoop, but they at least allow it to become automatic once you jump through the hoop. Fidelity allows you to change what your sweep account is. Therefore, if you have a Fidelity account, you may want to look and see whether your sweep account is using the FDIC insured cash sweep account, which would be paying you less, but you can transfer that manually. You change your core position, they call it, uh, the default that they use for cash sweep to a higher yielding money market fund. For instance, FZFXX, which is the Fidelity Treasury money market fund. I'm going to wrap up this video by showing you how to go about changing this in Charles Schwab. My son, who is out being a missionary right now and will be away until July, uh, has an account at Schwab. It actually has a whole bunch of cash sitting in there that he's waiting to invest. And I had kind of forgotten about it while he's away being a missionary until I started looking into this topic and realized I need to check his account to see what cash he has sitting there. So if I go to his account, he has $8,667 sitting there in cash. How much money did that earn? $3.31 for his most recent statement. So a pittance, 0.45%. What we're going to do is go into Schwab and change this from this bank sweep interest, the bank sweep account that they're using, to a higher yielding money market fund. Let's first just talk about what funds we might want to choose rather than our 0.5% bank sweep account. This is from an article at mymoneyblog.com and here the author talks about four Schwab money market funds that you might want to choose. Uh, the highest yielding one here at the time in this article was SWVXX. So we're going to go ahead and choose that one, the Schwab Value Advantage Money Fund. So to do this, we're going to go to the search here. We're going to type in SW vxx and hit enter that will then bring up the schwab value advantage fund and i'm going to go ahead and click on trade i've picked the account that has all of the money for him and i'll go ahead and buy eight thousand dollars worth of this we're going to go ahead and reinvest the dividends and capital gains and i will click review order and then we'll go ahead and place the order and it's done that's how easily you can move your money from the low interest bearing sweep account into something that's much higher yield. The problem at Schwab is they don't make it automatic. You have to go about and do this every time, which is likely why we see those curves eventually level out because people get burnout trying to do this and follow it all the time. I hope this information was useful for you. If it was, give us a thumbs up, please. I encourage you to go and check your brokerage account and see what kind of yield your bank sweep account, your settlement fund, is earning. And if it's earning a pittance, get it changed to something that's earning higher. Now, the intent is not to 
leave this money here forever. It's just to keep it there until you're ready to invest it. But why not make more money on it while you can? Remember, brokerages are counting on you not moving this money. Share this information, please, with a young person in your life. And as always, until next time, enjoy your investing.